Heelworms have a complex life cycle. When the heelworms fully mature inside of their terrestrial insect host, they induce their host to enter streams or ponds. This is one of the most fascinating examples of host manipulation by parasite. But the key mechanism triggering the host entry into water has long been wrapped in mystery. A previous report argued that parasite-induced positive phototaxis can increase the encounter rate of hosts and water bodies. However, luminous environments are commonplace in nature. In addition, puddles often reflect light strongly, but we have almost never found hairworms in the puddles. Direct sunlight is unpolarized light, including various evectors. But once the sunlight reflects off small particles, objects, and water bodies, a part of the reflected light is linearly polarized, in which a certain evector orientation is dominant. In particular, the reflection of water bodies is horizontally polarized, and many insects actually use the horizontally polarized light to either seek out or avoid the water habitats. Thus, we hypothesize that an induced positive polar taxis can explain water entry behavior of a terrestrial insect host infected by a hairwork. This is the light choice box with two windows to give polarized and unpolarized light stimuli. This two choice experiment was conducted to test for induced positive polarotaxis in the infected mantis at four light intensities. Infected mantis stayed close to the horizontally polarized side of the choice box more frequently than did an infected mantis especially at light intensities above 2,000 rooks. To further investigate the association between the enhanced positive protaxis and water entry behavior of the infected mantis, we conducted a field experiment of the 16 infected mantis, 14 entered our deep pool where the water surface strongly reflected horizontally polarized light with weaker light intensity. Another noteworthy finding is that the water entry behavior of the infected hosts occurred most frequently around noon. In the laboratory experiment, the infected mantis walked more than an infected mantis around noon. The daytime peaks of the mantis entry into water and walking distance during daytime were synchronized at noon. We conclude that the alteration of the daily activity pattern is an additional piece of host manipulation that causes the daily variation in the water entry behavior of the infected mantis. Our finding shed light on the long-standing mystery of why terrestrial insects enter into water. Uncovering neural mechanisms behind the enhanced prolotaxis will be the next challenge. It is highly related to an emerging issue in the insect vision neuroscience. In addition, animals evolved to have great diversity of photosensitive visual systems, and parasites may be able to manipulate those systems. So our finding in this study may be one of many examples of host manipulation strategies in illuminous environment, a topic that we are just beginning to explore. We hope you will enjoy reading our paper. Thank you.